the environment you know has been has been shifting has been changing ghana in the immediate past was a beer drinking country um the very elite you know were taking you know wine and you know cognac and the others but that's the very elite but the, the ghana as a, as a whole was a beer drinking country um but it's shifting gradually to you no know, bitters um the, the general population have moved gradually to bitters um, um and the consumption of beer even, even though it's still big it's not as much as it used to be so you find beer um manufacturing companies a lot of them folding up um i see this trend being transient in the sense that if you study the european market they were also they also went through the same shifting and what i see is that in, in the future people are going to be a little bit more conscious about their health you know personal health and that they're going to be very you know a little bit more careful about what they're taking so i see it shifting from the bitters, even if it's going to stay bitters, then it will have medicinal qualities. But more so to you know, fruit-based alcohol or fruit-based you know, minerals or whatever, because people are going to look at the the health benefits that they're going to get from drinking. So that's the way I see it. But Ghana as a whole has been a beer-drinking country, shifting gradually to the bitters you know so now we have over 43 companies producing bitters now gihok you know started quite a while ago you know with the introduction of mandingo bitters which was really co-opted from italian uh, bitters industry and then gradually um, gihok managed to develop its own local Bitters, which is the herb of freak, um, with a more emphasis on the medicinal qualities, you know, which to me put Gihok, especially the herb of freak, in a very, very, very strategic position for the future. Because as you know, the taste, you know, shifts into, you know, medicinal and, you know, health conscious um, consumers. I think that um, Herb Africa is uniquely poised to take advantage of the of the of the new taste, and that's the way I see it.